Hello, my name's Jamie Scott. I'm a garage technician at Aston Martin Cognizant Formula One team. There's two of us on the setup team and we leapfrog each race and we build the garage, including all the electrics, all the lighting, the air conditioning, the coax, power, everything. So the garage is fully functional, ready for the team's arrival. A lot of what we see and we send around the world is in sea freight. So we have five sets of sea freight which are constantly moving around the world from race to race. Largely this is made up of the garage and, and the garage equipment. Uh, the pods which are uh, a large part of uh, the garage setup, they sit above the cars. They have everything on it, air, they have extraction, power, um, they have the important umbilical which links the centre island to the car so all the information can be fed back. Once the garage is built, my role really is to look after the garage, maintain it, keep it clean, keep all the mechanics, uh, all their equipment tidy. And when the car's running, I uh, assist in the refueling of the car. Um, I also then look after all the bodywork once it comes back, make sure it's clean, ready to run again. Following Mexico, I flew straight here um, to Qatar to get the garage ready for the guys, so I missed out on Brazil. And then tomorrow I'll be flying back to the UK before heading out to Saudi Arabia to get the garage ready there. Things you don't know about me, uh, I've got two. Uh, firstly, when I get back from races, I like to switch off by upcycling, uh, playing around with uh, bits of craft and, and making lights. Secondly, the thing, another thing you don't know about me is I am handsome Jamie. Hi, I'm Chris Dodd, I'm the racing coordinator here at Aston Martin Cognizant Formula One team. Yeah, so it's my role here to look after, oversee all of the setups, pack downs, uh, make sure the freight gets here on time. And then we've got the garage techs in there doing fueling, tyres, uh, looking after the pit equipment, uh, and generally keeping tidy, the place tidy. So, sorry, I can only just catch up here. It's now 20 to 7 Wednesday night. Um, we landed here yesterday at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, we came into work for two o'clock. Um, this whole strip was full of freight, which is now just about finished. You see the last couple of pallets going. So there's a lot of hard work and planning gone into getting the freight from Brazil uh, to here on time. Luckily this one was early for us to give us a nice easy setup. So we hopefully should be finishing in the next half an hour. Uh, so I think you met Jamie earlier, who's one of our setup crew. We've also got another guy called Joe, who he's here now. Uh, he'll fly on to Abu Dhabi and start setting that one up. So this is the first time I've been in Qatar for racing, um, which brings its own challenges. Um, we, we haven't seen it. We don't know what size of pad paddock is, a pit lane, where we're storing freight. But luckily, this is very, very good and there's plenty of storage areas um, ready for Sunday night to bring it back out again. In this role, I'm quite a hands-on person, so after, once the setup's all complete, and there's a bit of downtime for me going, well, say downtime, going looking at paperwork and stuff, ready for shipping things back out, uh, back to the UK or wherever it's going on to next. But then I'll get involved in things like checking the tyres and the nuts and things on the tyres, that they're the right ones and the tyres are labelled correctly. Later in the week, you'll see on the Friday, I'll be in doing starters, uh, starting the car up for FP1. And that's practice for me on qualifying where I go up to the patch and start the car if it gets pulled in. I've already mentioned Joe and Jamie doing the setups. Um, we've got Jack who looks after all the pit stop equipment. We've got uh, Fabio and George who look after fuel. So they'll get the bowsers ready, then they'll fuel the cars during the running. Uh, Jim and Biscuit, the tyre gurus, they get on with all that sort of things, prepping the tyres. Uh, and then obviously bagging them all up ready for the weekend. Yeah. So we're only allowed a limited number of people working on the car during the weekend. So the dual roles are very, very, very important that they can set it up, but they can also do part of the work on the car. And like I say, pit stops is very important. As you can see, it looks like they're practicing for a light show, uh, which is my cue to leave. Uh, I'll catch up with you later in the weekend.
Hi, my name's Jack. I'm a garage technician for Aston Martin. Um, I've been with the team, this is my fourth year now, started at the beginning of 2018. I look after the pit stop equipment here, trackside. It's the main focus of my role, uh, making sure that all the equipment's built, uh, maintained throughout the weekend, ready to go during the pit stop. Also put the front right wheel on during the pit stops myself. So for a standard pit stop, I'll do wheel on in the front right. I'll take my take my tyre, check that I've got the, the right end tyre with the correct nut fitted to it. And we'll run out into the box. I've got my little white marking floor, so I'm in the same position every time. Check the wheel again. Get lined up, look for the nut. That's my marker as to when to go start stepping in, ready to do the wheel change. Yeah, try and do the same every time. During running, when the car's in the garage, I'm involved in refueling the car, so uh, Fabio uh, is the main fuel guy on Lance's car uh, and I and do fire extinguisher and uh, generally try and keep the garage uh, presentable throughout the weekend. So you'll see me and Fabio working together on the car, making sure that there's enough fuel in it, making sure it's clean, make sure the guys have got the equipment they need throughout the weekend. So I'll talk you around some of the pit stop equipment. Um, obviously at the front of the car we've got the front jack. It's pretty simple in the way it works. The front splash will take the weight of the, the car. Well then the jack man will be able to jack it up because the pressure on the front splash will allow that to happen when it's jacked up. He can then pull the trigger, get to one side and when this pit stop's finished the jack will drop and he can release the jack from underneath the front of the car. The guns are Hioli Hurricane guns, they're air supplied. Anyone can buy the gun, but then they're obviously modified to suit the needs of the pit stop crew. For each team, each team runs slightly different guns, slightly different specifications, so this is modified to suit us. Uh, then at the rear of the car, you've also got the rear jacks. The jack man locates this under the rear, rear rears of the car, jacks it up, he then pulls the handle on the rear jack, and when the system's happy, it will release the car, the jack will drop. Yeah, that's the, the main crux of the pit stop equipment hopefully gives you a little bit more of an insight into to what we do i'm now gonna pack away some of the equipment and the equipment we've used today so the number two guns are uh, gonna give them a clean re-oil them and just check over all the jacks make sure there's no failures make sure there's no cracks and make sure they're all fit for purpose for the rest of the weekend Hi, right, it's Friday afternoon. We're just about to get the start of the car ready for FB1. So part of my job is to start the car. So in FB1 I'll start the car, but FB2 I'll come and help the tyre guys. We'll get them all ready, all plugged in and on heat. And then the guys will come and take them to the car. When the car goes out, we collect all the bags in. When the car comes back, the bags go out. Tires are re-wrapped and we restack them and get them back on heat as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm Fabio and uh, I'm a garage technician for the Aston Martin team and I worked for this team for five years now. But I've been F1 for an, almost 16, 16 years. As so behind me, you can see the time stand during the free practice on Friday, Saturday, qualifying the race, all the engineers sitting there. Uh, normally we start setting up this on uh, Wednesday or Tuesday, you know, depending on the race. It takes a little bit, like three, four hours. Easy on Sunday for pack up with the three, four people, 40 minutes, it's done. Yeah, I work for Toro Rosso at the same time with Seb. It's actually the 2008 
when he won the first race in Monza. It's amazing because I still remember every single name of the people who worked with him. Even at 10 years or 12 or 15 years ago, I still remember every single name. Um, so the photo with Jack. Yeah, Silverstone 2000, 2000, I can't remember. 2006, I believe, since my first ever Grand Prix. So uh, I was doing a pit lane walk and you must have been on the timing stand for Tom yeah. at some point during a pit lane walk. And now, and now me and Joe walk together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the first time he showed me pictures, they really? <laughs> it's like unbelievable. I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you later, Dick. You can see everything's power up for now and um, I just do a little, little bit more check and uh, catch you later. So it's Sunday morning, last Sunday of a triple header. All the guys in here are just getting the car ready for the race and we're going to go off to a pack-up meeting. So in the pack-up meeting we'll have myself, there'll be uh, the chief mechanic, the two number ones and Joe who looks after all the back of house sea freight stuff to be packed. I'll look after all the stuff at the front, the air freight and the number ones just control the garage uh, along with the chief mechanic. So as you can see we're getting some bits ready here for the grid, the grid trolley's there. Um, but I've got to go off to a pack-up meeting now, so I'll catch up with you later. Hi, I'm Joe, uh, garage support here at Aston Martin, Cognizant Formula One team. Um, I believe you met my colleague Jamie earlier in the week. Um, I'm here to talk you through my job as a garage support. Uh, so on Wednesday morning, we got here nice and early. Um, we just finished getting the rest of the sea freight out, so yeah, things like uh, pit stop chairs, and then I jumped on the pit wall and helped Fabio do the pit wall. So during the sessions, uh, at the minute, I'm learning how to put fuel in the car. So on Friday, I actually physically put the fuel in the car. And then Saturday, uh, I stand there and hold the fire extinguisher uh, whilst George puts the fuel in the car. Yeah, come Sunday, my main role is to sort of get the sea freight ready for pack down on Sunday evening. And then uh, just as the car goes out the garage, then we have to set the garage up for uh, with all the pit stop chairs for the mechanics to sit on and I bring the tyres in uh, that Jim's told me about, bring them in in order, ready for each pit stop. So in Sea Freight we have a variety of things, um, office chairs and tables, we have all the garage all the garage boarding that you see is all in Sea Freight. So as soon as the race starts we'll start taking down the, the panels at the back of the garage uh, just to clear a bit of space for Sea Freight. Um, and then along with a few other guys, we'll drag the sea freight round from the storage compound, set it all out nice and easy. And then we just slowly start breaking down the garage. Anything we can get our hands on that the guys don't need, we'll get that away in sea freight. So something you wouldn't know about me, uh, I used to be a chef for 13 years. I, got, uh, I used to do catering for back when we were called Racing Point. And I just progressed from there into the logistics of catering and then into the logistics of garage and sea freight. Uh, so I'm going to have to leave you now because I need to get the uh, garage set up for the race, uh, get all the chairs out, get all the tyres through for pit stops. So uh, catch you later. Good morning guys and girls. Um, my name's Chris, usually known as George in the, in the garage by all the guys. Uh, at the moment we're getting the grid trolleys ready that we uh, take to the grid. This one here carries um, spare tools, uh, all the fans for the brakes. There's four or five of us that go to the grid early to set it up, then we take the brake fans to the cars to keep it cool. I've been here 18 years. I started off at Jordan and I've been through all the ranks of the other teams, staying, obviously staying with the same team. Started off as a, a tyre technician uh, with, with Biscuit and, stuff. and then injury to my back, I ended up doing fuel. I used to do live refueling during races with the old fuel rigs, fuel bowsers. That was quite very interesting, very exciting. Uh, and now, because we don't do that, just do refueling in the garage. Uh, something you wouldn't know about me is that um, I play rugby from an early age, uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. 
did it through school. And then I played for Wolverhampton. And when I was under 18s, we won the Staffordshire Flood Lit Cup, which was brilliant. Right, time's ticking on, so uh, I must carry on and finish these. Must help Joe and Jack out, and uh, we'll get these ready for the grid, ready for the race, and then uh, good luck to the guys for the race. Thanks. Right, that's the race done here in Qatar. Both cars in the points, so a good day in the office. Now time to get packed up and go home. It's about an hour after the race here. The booms already stripped. The time and stands already stripped. Cars have just come back from the FIA. So it's time to get them stripped down, get all the freight loaded and go home to our families. Final thing for me, all the lads here are doing Movember this month. We've raised over 12 grand already. If you can donate on the Aston Martin Twitter page, the link's on there. And uh, hopefully we see all our tashes get even longer. Cheers, guys.